This video is called Get Real. If you hear dogs barking in the background, try to ignore it. We apologize. We basically live on Dog Kennel Boulevard. So this video is about teaching a very simple, realistic way to strengthen the legs that's going to transfer no matter what you do. If you play a sport, this will help your jumping and landing and running in a practical way. If you work in an office and you have a standing desk, this will help your standing posture. So very, very simple three variations of a position will show you that will strengthen the legs from the ground up in a realistic way. The reason for this video is because I found over many, many years of training for different sports and working with different athletes, training myself as an athlete, and working with people across all demographics, whether it's trying to rehab injuries or return to sport or enhance performance for a sport, is that the exercises that people are commonly accustomed to doing and the, the exercises that people tend to gravitate to because it's most commonly taught, you most commonly find them on YouTube tutorials or they're most commonly prescribed by personal trainers or strength and conditioning coaches, is that the majority of them are just not realistic. They don't translate in a realistic way to what you have to do. For example, most of the leg strengthening exercises that you'll find are done with the heels down and in a stance that really doesn't translate to how you have to move in a safe way as an athlete. When you run, for example, at any decent speed, the heel really has nothing to do with it. So. If you're training to strengthen the legs with, for example, a leg press or doing squats where you're driving through pressure through the heels, that's not going to translate because when you land and you need to drive to run forward, you're not using the heels to drive that force. And if you train yourself to use the heels to do that, then you're training yourself to move in a less than efficient pattern that is not only going to not yield as high results, but it's also going to put you more at risk for injury. So let's get right to the exercise. We're just going to do some small quarter squats in an athletic stance, but bear with me. This is not going to be probably what you're accustomed to, and even though it might seem super simple, trust me, it's going to be very beneficial if you pay attention to the details and try it out the way that I recommend here. If you tell most people to get into an athletic stance, they'll probably be in a bit of a wide stance and the feet will probably be flat if you check them out. You may not be able to see it if they're wearing typical athletic shoes because the shoes provide a lot of artificial support. But if you get them to do a barefoot, it will expose what's actually happening in the shoe that you can't see, which down the road is contributing to degeneration of the joints and leaks in performance. So you want to make sure that even if you're wearing commonly worn athletic shoes, it's not that the shoe's necessarily a problem if you know how to use your feet properly, but if you default to the support that the shoe's giving you and start to basically allow your feet to die in the shoe and you're using the shoe as the support instead of your foot the way you should, then you're getting weaker, your structure's getting weaker from the foundation up. So try these squats with this footwork. You're going to keep the feet in a more narrow stance. So don't let them turn out at all. Keep them pointing straight and keep them in a narrow stance, meaning right under the hips. Then you're going to let the heels hover off the ground. So you're going to be kind of in a position, like if you were going to jump rope, you're going to be in that kind of a springy position. So the pressure should be on the outside ball of the foot, like under the fourth and fifth metatarsal. You're not pushing off through the big toe. You're on the outside strong part of the foot. But the toes are still in contact with the ground. Okay? So the heels are off the ground, the feet are close and straight. And from there, you're just going to bend the knees slightly as you push the hips way back. Just like if you just landed, I would land somewhat in that position. So my hips go back and I'm landing with my heels off the ground. Now the sequence you're going to do from that position is just three things. You're going to first just do isometric hold in a quarter squat. So you can just rest here like this 
almost like if you're bending down to talk to a child or something, or get something on the ground, but you're just in a very balanced yet ready state. So you're just going to hold that symmetrically. You, you can rest. Remember where the pressure is underneath the fourth and fifth metatarsal. The toes are in contact with the ground, feet are straight, and your heels are off the ground. They should not be on the ground. After you hold this for a minute, you're going to stay in the position and then pulse for another minute. So just little quarter squats. You can either go slow or you can pick up the pace a little bit more. And once you're done pulsing, you're going to shift from one side to the other, keeping the feet in place. So as you shift, your nose will line up over one foot, and on that side, you're going to have like 90% of the pressure and only about 10% on the other side. And you shift to the other side 90-10. And you shift back and forth for another minute. So you go isometric hold for a minute, pulse for a minute, and shift from side to side for a minute. And with each shift, there's a little bend in the spine and the nose or the head lines up over that foot. The heels are off the ground the entire time and you're in a springy position with the hips back and haunches loaded and the heels up off the ground. So that's a three minute set and you can repeat that three to five times and see how that feels. I recommend trying it with just your body weight first and see because the whole set should last you three minutes and you're repeating that three to five times. If that's easy, let's say you're more advanced, you're stronger and you want to build a little bit more strength in the position, then you can hold a weight plate while you do your sets. Hold the weight plate tight against your chest and kind of load your, your shoulders back so it's not just hanging there loosely, but you're compact, kind of tightly packed. Keep your head up and then you load yourself in the position. So now I'm here, I do my one minute. After my one minute, I pulse for one minute. And after my pulse, I'm gonna shift from one foot to the other, loading 90% on the loaded side and just 10% on the support side, on the assisted side. For one minute, back and forth. Three to five sets. But thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. If you have any questions or don't understand, reach out to us. We'll try to answer any genuine questions in the comments or you can also reach out to us via email using the email address info at athleticengineering.ca and we'll respond to you. Keep following us. We're going to try to continue posting some fresh new content to help you build your athletic engine.